Welcome to this video or stream if you're watching this live or you're watching on YouTube. We're doing a fantasy draft right now with the viewers. People are going to be deciding uh, what we take. Hopefully it's not anyone over like 27 or 28 unless they're a QB. Uh, also, hey, I got to sell out for the live and the video version. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, all that stuff. If you like Madden, I'm going to get nobody to like and subscribe. Why did I say if you like Madden? That will literally result in zero likes, zero subscribes, zero followers, followers on twitch.tv slash Jerome Pierre. <laughs> Anyways, you can obviously see this is a Seattle Seahawks rebuild, kind of. We're about to start the draft. I hope this doesn't take longer than an hour because... As much as I love to draft, oh, look at Derrick Henry. He just got signed. It's a lot of work to sit here for that long. Now, I don't want to, you know, tempt you guys too much. But honestly, we, we're going to leave Luck in here because, A, I just couldn't get rid of him. Because even though he's removed in free agency, he's still here. There's really only one correct answer. And it's Russell Wilson. But I, <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. You guys choose what you want. This is going to be hard to decide what people want the most though because there's going to be a lot of people commenting things i'm actually seeing quite a bit of watsons i think we're going to go to sean watson with our very first pick all right to sean watson i actually seen a lot there and i was looking at the names there wasn't a whole lot of duplicates there was at least six names that said watson Deshaun Watson's our very first pick. Supposed to go 36 in true talent. Uh, we took him at 20, of course. I think this one's clear-cut. I think the majority actually did vote for uh, Tyreek Hill. So Tyreek Hill it is, number in the round second. Surprisingly enough, people are actually making good decisions today, unlike me in my entire life. It's pretty safe to say people are going to be voting for Ward here. So the fast man himself, super sp 95 speed, excel, and agility all across the board. Uh, Good old Denzel Ward. I, I'm a, we're going to go Von Miller because I was actually just about to take Jones and then I seen 10 unique names say Von Miller. So we're going to go Von Miller. He is the bigger name anyways. Very close. Someone, you know, A lot of people are saying Von uh, Chandler Jones is trash in Sim anyways. So it would appear Von barely edged it out. I would say there was like a 70, 30, well, you know, like there was like 70. I don't know, dude, words. I don't know what I'm even saying. Like a 40% Tyron, the rest 30. Either way... <laughs> Whatever happened, Tyron Matthew, 27, a little bit on the older side, but Tyron Matthew is the guy. Unfortunately enough, uh, we did kind of draft similarly to this a little. Actually, no, we didn't. I think Tyron might be the only guy we drafted that we did last time. So far, the team looks really good. Oh, yeah, Ward. Denzel and Tyron were the two guys. And it would appear Andrews is the winner. So we're going to go with Mark Andrews, the tight end here in round was a six, seven. A lot of people are saying Edmonds. I think it's a pretty clear cut. This is about the clearest cut since uh, Tyreek Hill. It says we reached a little bit, it's fine. Tremaine Edmonds is the choice. And I think that was a good one. I think it was all right. Uh, Tails is DeCastro. Heads is, well, it already went. So I guess we're going DeCastro. <laughs> it's it's uh, David DeCastro is our guy, 29 years old, but with Superstar Development, he should last till 33-34 for sure. So David DeCastro is our pick. I'm seeing a lot of Jones. I was very close for the last round. Aaron Jones is the guy. We get one Packers player. Woohoo! I think Marpet wins by an inch. So Ali Marpet, we got two guards now. Yeah, we're going to go Simmons. Everyone's, uh, everyone's saying it. We're going to change his dev at least to Star. Maybe to Superstar. Depends on how, how cheese we want to get. Okuda, I'm seeing a lot of Okuda. Okuda Matata. I mean, we're kind of cheesing. We're kind of cheesing, but we're, we're going for it. It seems like Okuda was, was easily the number one. I don't even know if I've seen a single person say Shaq Mason. I was like, maybe one or two. Jay's Young, it's pretty, pretty clear cut. Maybe you should just become a partner. Well, that's what we're trying to do here. Pretty much only can stream Madden. I'd say the speed's a little low here, but Chase Young is our pick. Absolutely cheesing the hell out of this, without a doubt. We've been cheesing since 1902. Brown, it looks like it's, I mean, you give him a choice between star or superstar, it's it's probably going to be the guy that you said you would go superstar. Yeah, I think I think it's Brown. So we may or may not be cheesing hard, but here we are, I suppose. <laughs> Brown's like a cheese. It's five, 600. But I think we're going to go Ellen Jenkins. Uh, very good player, 23 years old, hidden. That's the main one. Young and hidden. That's that's really all that matters. Yeah, we're going to go Willie here. A lot of people actually did say for us to go for him earlier. We'll put him at star and we'll up that speed by a ton because that is terrible. 
Grant Delpit's still there, so we're going to go Delpit. I probably should have waited because the guards could be gone. We only need like two more linemen. Wills? Someone? Oh, people want Wills. Jedrick Wills it is? I actually seen like six of them. I mean, everyone said Hardman. Hardman's gone, so the next best thing, Henry Ruggs. Doesn't have the dev. If he had higher dev, he'd be in the first or second round. So Tucker, obviously, as we would expect. 29 years old, superstar development, absolute monster. A lot of people actually saying Dixon, surprisingly. I think Michael Dixon actually won, uh, surprisingly. You know, obviously, if you're starting a Madden franchise, you're going to play till the end. He's the best choice. But as far as a rebuild, Hacker is sick. In fairness, I think if we went CD, I'm going to go CD because I've seen a couple of CDs uh, that I don't like to use anymore. And then I think we're going to go for the safeties if they're there. Winfield's there. I made this so much quicker just out of nowhere. Like, it wouldn't have been this quick at all if I would have waited. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. For the memes. For the memes, boys. Okay, dude. Like, of course. Of course he's there. The freaking chat's probably going to explode. Oh, start Pollard, man. Start him. In fairness, someone has said Parrish Campbell, uh, and it's not Parrish, it's Paris, like 400 times. Fine. Okay, man. What about Let? No, we're going to. I'm going to draft the final players. Makai Becton, star development tackle. Should be stronger than that. He's a monster in size. Let's go with Callum <laughs> Paris Campbell is the best pick. Okay, dude. So, of course, the draft is completed, and uh, we're streaming this as well. You know, if you guys want to, if you're watching the YouTube version, you want to see stream versions of this, obviously. You know, follow me on Twitter, uh, Twit. that's not, it's all Jerome P. Care, right? Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. Um, but obviously, this is what the team looks like. We did change the devs based on their real-life counterparts. Uh, we already went over this on stream, so it's a little weird. But, you know, of course, a lot of the rookies that we drafted did have Superstar coming into Madden 21, assuming the list we seen was legit. Also, Chase Young, the only at-launch X-Factor this year and last year. So, that, that's cool, right? I don't remember if Gallimore had star or anything. This is probably going to be out of three season. I doubt we'll get to four, only because we actually may win three straight Super Bowls here. Uh, looking at special teams, we also landed some really good players there. Uh, thing is, though, we could still make trades. Do I want to make this realistic or unrealistic? What do you guys think? Cohen and Hines with a second-round pick for the pick 15 projected from the Broncos. Hopefully, that's like top five pick. I mean, I get it, right? Like, technically, it's drop pick for drop pick, but, like, okay. Uh, a second, a third, and Ronald Jones for 32. We might have gotten away with not getting rid of the third. Guess we're giving up the second rounder. There you go. So how many first-round picks did we end up getting? Five first-round picks this year and pretty much everything intact for next year. Nice. But I'm pretty sure we're ready to go. So let's go looking at the receiver. Resigning. Not looking too crazy because obviously it's a, it's a fantasy. I upgrade midseason. I upgrade uh, like week nine or week ten. Cole Komet. I don't think we should go for any of these guys. We should have traded Cole Komet. Damn it. Heading into the last week, the playoffs. It's pretty guaranteed. And we finish with a nice 13-3 and three record. Let's actually take a look at the uh, the win-loss. So uh, we had a very good streak of, what, seven wins in a row. Lost to the Falcons, lost to the Buccaneers. I was thinking, there's the slide. GG, we're out of here. And then we won five in a row. Lost to the Cardinals, beat the Niners. So we did really well in the division as well. So 13-3. and three. That, I mean, it's a better record than I would have thought. Watson, uh, 35 touchdowns, five picks. 4,200 yards, maybe. X-Factor, probably not, though. Aaron Jones. What the hell is wrong with you? You're going to have people chanting for Pollard to start, even though Pollard was terrible as well. Ground game was just bad. CD Lamb, very good chance he goes to X-Factor. Tyreek Hill, no superstar for him. We've dropped him back down to star in case no one's seen. Andrews, 700 yards, eight touchdowns and rugs. Basically nothing. Aaron Jones, please stop stealing receptions. Uh, looking at the offensive line, Becton was decent. Wills was very meh. Uh, only one guy over 100 tackles, which was Tremaine Edmonds. Looking at the sack totals, 15 sacks for Vaughn Miller. Gallimore with seven. Chase Young, absolutely disgustingly bad pick totals. Bryce Hall with three in the most. He's like number four on the cornerback list, I believe. Uh, looking at kicking, Tucker missed four with no blocks. Punting, no one cares about. Kick return touchdown of one. All right, dude. Now looking at the yards, we had eighth in offensive. Defense was two. There's a very good chance we could make a dynasty happen. Uh, looking at Russell Wilson, I seen the Texans, and I was thinking, Watson. And then I was like, oh, wait, it's not, because he's on the Seahawks. 
Number four, though, that's that's pretty good, I suppose. Oh, he lost to Tannehill. Von Miller, best player of the year for defense. No rookie awards. Best QB, nope. Looking at running back, no. Wide receiver, no. Okay, so we did not win much. Vaughn was like the only guy that participated in the awards, basically. Uh, as far as who we have to play here, the Panthers, 85 overall, we're in 89. I think 85 is actually a little high. So they're actually probably one of the better teams as well. I'm not used to talking. Now, honestly, you guys are like taking me away from my entertainment time. If I wasn't streaming this live on twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care, <laughs> give me a follow. I would actually be probably watching a movie in the background. And of course here, uh, the Panthers have given us a little more resistance than I would have liked. But at the same time, they did have to win against the team to get here. And it looks like we are going to be heading to the championship round on the very first freaking sim. Looking at the, uh, the, the, wow. Watson kind of went off. For some reason, I kept thinking that he was Russell Wilson. But it's literally not. Uh, five touchdowns, zero picks, 316 yards. Only missed five throws out of 36, which is amazing. Uh, rushing, kind of a meh. Aaron Jones has been really disappointing. Yeah, it's very disappointing. CeeDee Lamb, 87 yards. Uh, Tyreek Hill, 91. Really nothing super special there. Looking at sack totals. Gallimore, out of nowhere with two. Okay, dude. Uh, looking at the pick totals, just Edmonds, who has like 55 catching. But yeah, I mean, it's a good win. We had 41 points. We gave up a little bit of points early, but we, we did all right. All right, so we have uh, a bunch of XP we can actually use for a coach on top of it. We'll do that real quick. Coach XP, 8,000. We'll do the... Oh, we already have that. I forgot we chose that. Uh, O-line, probably number one. DB linebacker? DB linebacker. Yeah, let's do DB linebacker. Uh, but here we are. Saints versus the Seahawks. We've seen this matchup a couple of times. If we win this game, we're in the Super Bowl. 84 overall Saints, 89 overall us. And I think it auto upgrades, right? We're going to the end of the game. Come on. Just give us the Super Bowl right out the gate. Ooh, six points for them. We get three. They get another touchdown. We're kind of getting slammed by the Saints here. They get three before half. Huge rushing touchdown for Aaron Jones, but no extra point. Justin Tucker. Please, good sir. Oh, this is interesting now. This is a very close game. Is offense going to clutch this? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold the mo. I was about to say M MF, and but you know we're not doing that. I never search by the. What the hell is it? The further we go, to I'm so confused. Do we just not kick a field goal? What do you mean? There's 20 seconds, six yard pass. How do you not get a field goal up? Are you serious? Okay, man. That's that's great news. Just didn't kick the field goal. Got the best kicker of all time, basically. Nah, mate. Ooh, that was close. Good job, defense. Offense. Oh, we won the game. What happened? It was like a 60-yard play. Excuse me? I will take it. We are now into the Super Bowl when a weird turn of events. I don't know what the hell that was. I do not know how that happened. I will take it, though. Obviously, we can't really see something much from this. Let's take a look. So Watson's number is not super great, you know, at the end of regulation, but he kind of did a little bit better in the po in the overtime period. Aaron Jones with a huge 60-yard run, which we freaking missed the extra point on receiving. Aaron Jones! Holy crap! That's easily the most receiving yards I've ever seen from a running back. Holy crap, though. Six for 189 and two touchdowns. He was the hero. That's over 300 yards in the championship. Three touchdowns, 300 yards. Holy Jesus. It's pretty safe to say all the big play touchdowns probably were Aaron Jones, right? Probably Tucker missing. Oh, maybe he missed it. It was blocked. I don't remember when that would have been. Was it? Maybe it was actually the play before overtime. I don't know. Clutch as hell, if that's true. Aaron Jones, a wide receiver, maybe going to the Super Bowl. Honestly, I think we're going to have a desperately bad amount of dev ups. I don't think we're going to see many, honestly. Uh, CD Lamb, of course, we knew that was going to happen. Ian. He had a very good game, a very good season. Moss, not bad. Moss is kind of a good, a good ability for him. I get it, Raptor. That's that's hilarious, man. Super funny, dude. Um, what else do we have? That's it. Like I said, there was going to be a very bad amount of dev ups, as I expected. Uh, is that yeah? 
yeah, there's no other DevOps, I don't think. Not even like Tyron Matthew or maybe Tremaine. Yikes. You ever hear of McCaff or McCaffrey? Never heard of McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, yeah. But here we are in the Super Bowl. So far looking 50-50, but we do have two touchdowns. Uh, three touchdowns. I don't want to say anything. Okay, it's safe to say it. Obviously, we didn't cheat because it's a live stream. But we'll show you guys we didn't force any wins or restart or anything. Um, yeah, there, there you go. When are you making a TikTok? By the time I make a TikTok, the U.S. government will have banned the damn thing. So probably never. Honestly, of course, uh, the Titans, they do go down. Oh, they had Baker Mayfield. In fairness, their quarterback wasn't bad. We almost traded for their uh, draft pick anyways. But we did really well here. Aaron Jones, another massive three-touchdown game, 84 yards. I don't know what the receiving stats were because I don't really remember seeing too, too many big plays on the team. But, well, there you go. Um, <laughs> I knew there was a chance we were going to win the freaking thing right out the gate. But winning it and... Saying you're gonna win here, two different things. EA Sim, you know what? I get it. It's because we're live streaming and you want the publicity for making, you know, pretending you're making a good game, but good job, EA Sim. About damn time you worked it out, you know? About damn time EA Sim actually did the right thing. Did we actually beat Kareem Hunt? That's like literally cheating. All the all the comments of TikTok I've seen here in this screen stream are pretty much dead on. Just saying. Uh, as far as stats go, you know, nothing really too special outside of Aaron Jones's three touchdown performance. Uh, it's really weird because his yards per carry suck in, but he's he's had some pretty big postseason games. You know, that last game, absolutely savior, the hero. Like, he saved this whole freaking run. Absolutely legendary stuff. But as far as regular season goes and the majority of his yards per carry attempts, terrible, man. Terrible. Yards per carry attempts. Yeah, I guess that actually makes sense. I'm smart. We'll show you guys who didn't cheat because there probably are some people that are watching the YouTube version. They're like, I don't know. It could all be a lie. Maybe he didn't actually stream it at all. Maybe maybe he's a liar. But obviously you could see there we didn't do any cheats. No, uh, no redos or anything like that. Uh, but the thing is, obviously we're going to do at least two more seasons. Who do we re-sign? Like Cole Komet. He's a backup. We got Knox. At the same time, though, there's a very good chance we never come back to this rebuild ever again. I think we're just going to... we're. No, nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought it said I franchise tagged him. I mean, it's not a bad contract, but... Nah, man. We'll, uh... Should we scam some of these guys? Bronson Hill is very freaking slow, man. But he's a backup. I'm going to test... You're about to be testing your freaking resume strength when you're working at a freaking car dealership. Uh, but as far as free agency goes, I don't think Ronald Jones is in free agency. Okay, dude. I don't think there's anyone we could really do much for here. Rager, Willis, not bad, I suppose. Three and eight's pretty good. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I mean, I don't know what he's worth, but here we are. We're probably over trading here because we're, you know, giving them quite a bit, but I don't really want to draft this high, so it's going to cost us money if we did draft up here. There's a third round pick for you. I'm kidding. Oh, we dot it. We dot it. We dot it, Matt. Uh, so we're going to take uh, the running back at 14 here. Mr. Martin Byers, please be an X Factor. Hidden development, 76 overall. Supposed to go 7. We took him 14. That speed is nice. You don't really see too many rookie running backs with 95. It's usually like 93, 94. Definitely a developable guy. He's supposedly built as a receiving back, I believe. No, he is an elusive. I thought his archetype was uh, receiving. I think we're just going to trade everything down. That's about it. So you, you are guaranteeing yourself a pick two. We're, we're going to take a pick 11 if we can. Okay, we probably overtraded for that. I don't care, though. Of course, our running back is only start of element, unfortunately. Oh, we didn't need to give him 31. I didn't think teams actually wanted Campbell. But anyways, uh, this is the roster for year two. Obviously, we absolutely dominated league year one. The offensive line uh, really did not develop that much. We have the sliders at about 230, 235-ish. Uh, Mark Andrews, he's, he's okay. He'll be an 88 overall. Uh, uh, we do probably need Tyreek Hill to kind of show up, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, we didn't look at slot receiver, actually. We got to look at slot receiver and running backs. But, I mean, it's, it's simply put. The team is just as good as last year. Technically better, because not only are they better, but we added the big name, Chris Jones. This is a fierce defensive line. I would never 
want to face this. I mean, imagine going against Vaughn alone. Imagine going against Vaughn and Chris Jones. Imagine going against Chase Young, Vaughn, and Chris Jones. Then imagine you have Derek Brown there. Like, and then imagine you got the speed of Denzel Ward covering whoever your number one is, even if they're Tyreek Hill. Oh, wait, they aren't Tyreek Hill because we have Tyreek Hill. GG, retire, basically. Oh, he got it. Willie Gay got his dev up. He is now star development, and he has 5,000 XP. If you looked at position of need outside of DT, I would definitely say it was linebacker, but now... I, I can't say that because obviously he's star development. Oh yeah, what is uh, what's the prediction for the uh, the schedule? What do you what do you think? We're three and one right now. I'm gonna say twelve and four. I don't think we're gonna match thirteen and three. We know how Madden goes. You have a better team following a great season. Somehow you end up worse. That's just the way it is. But at the same time, it's looking all right. Whatever you do, don't go fifteen and one. Thank you. Because if we went 15-1, and one, it'd be like, why didn't you go 16-0? 16-0 would be nice, but we didn't do that. 14-2, we lost to the Giants and the Cardinals. We lost to the Cardinals first year as well. I'm freaky, if you say so, man. I mean, to be fair, the Rams are going to be a tough team. So being in my division this this upcoming Madden might not be the worst for the opponents. Uh, looking at Deshaun Watson, he technically had a worse year, right? Because I think he had 4,200 yards, 35 touchdowns, 5 picks last season. Didn't look at the completion percentage rating, though, so he might have been better there. Ooh! Aaron Jones, my guy! Watson might have actually won MVP. That's a really good season. 40 touchdowns, near 5,000 total yards. Aaron Jones, superstar development for sure. Tyreek Hill, that should be superstar development. Weird receiving numbers outside of Tyreek, though. O-line, uh, Marpets, you know, failing. But Wills, better season. Becton, better season. This is a very good season. Von Miller, 17 sacks. Chase Young did increase eight. Nice. Chris Jones, really disappointing, though, I will say. I mean, Derek Brown only had half less than him, and we know Chris Jones is a way better pass rusher. Uh, looking at the numbers, though, Justin Tucker really didn't even need him. Like, he just, when you have this team, this offense, you really don't need field goals. It's just about extra points, which, I mean, that, that's very easy. Uh, as far as yardage goes, offensive yards, second in the NFL, and then defensive, first in the NFL. Rodgers wins MVP. No. Deshaun, please. Deshaun Watson does win Offensive Player of the Year. No Defensive Player of the Year. This time, Martin Byers with the touchdowns gets Rookie of the Year. Watson, best QB. Best running back, number two for Aaron Jones. Tyreek at number three. So all these guys would make the Pro Bowl if we weren't going to the play the Super Bowl, unfortunately. Uh, the fight. Oh, speaking of the Vikings. Okay, I'm glad they didn't give us their draft, their draft pick because they're a 9-7 and seven team. Wow, look at our team overall. 94 overall. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings, only an 85 overall, somehow made the playoffs. A team that we were going to get their draft pick, but they just refused versus our 94 overall Seahawks. If we lose this, this would be shocking. Ooh, what a terrible rainy weather game. The MVP of the league, Rodgers and the Chargers move on. Brock Twilight Sweller. I've never watched Twilight, but he looks like that guy. I don't know what his name is. 7-0. I love how that was, that was super, like, uh, what is it called? Self-conscious of me. I never watched it, but, you know, <laughs> he looks like that guy. 24-10, uh, to 10, start of the fourth quarter. We are up 17. I don't know, maybe maybe EA Sim is just actually going to play well here for us. You guys drafted a hell of a team. What did I tell you? What do you think about Isaiah Simmons? I think the Cardinals landed a hell of an offseason. I was going to say draft, but it was it goes beyond that. They just had a great offseason. Got lucky in the draft, to be honest. Some of their players you know, would have been expected to go... Five picks before them. So, you know, very lucky there. You never know. Never know. There could have been a completely different draft if uh, just a few things change in there. Do you actually watch the NBA? I watch probably about a third of the games, which as far as how much time that is, that's probably more than watching the Packers, right? Very close to, if not more. Giants, three. Seahawks, nothing. Oh, no. This is a team we actually lost to in the regular season, isn't it? Oh, come on. Come on, Seattle. This is a hell of a fourth quarter. Killing it in the fourth. Of course, the Giants bounce back. Offense, Aaron Jones. Oh, that was clutch. Overtime. Good D. Come on, offense. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much, boys. Oh, is this a field goal? No, it's not a field goal attempt. They're still going. Oh, we're going to win. In the Super Bowl again, gotta give it, you know, round of applause to the Giants. They they did well. They almost snagged one from us. You know, they kinda snagged the undefeated season from us a bit earlier in the year. And then they almost took 
our back-to-back -back playoff trip away. Aaron Jones clutched up in the fourth. That team just balled, balled out, man. That was ridiculous. Close, close game. Good stuff. Let's take a look at what the actual numbers were. Watson, another really subpar game for him. You know, just over 200 yards again. Two touchdowns. Aaron Jones, e 60-yard run. Zeke went off with an 89. He went way off. Great performance. We run the ball a lot. Aaron Jones just killed it. Uh, what about receiving? Yeah, this is like the Matt Forte offense for Chicago. Like, just let Matt Forte carry the team because we know Jay Cutler is not going to get the job done. Ooh, it looks like they missed a field goal. Is that what that said? Yikes. Yeah, Willie is better for the memes. Willie Gay is the meme master. It probably sucked for him growing up, but I don't know. Now who's laughing? Is this a repeat matchup against the Titans, I believe? Well, either way, uh, let's take a look at our dev ups. Watson, maybe X Factor? No X Factor? Superstar Aaron, where have you been? Get your dev up, pal. Good job by Tyreek to get to Superstar. Obviously, we knew that was going to happen. Aaron Jones doesn't get to Superstar. That is stupid, man. That makes no sense at all. And as far as defense goes, I don't think we had a single dev up. That is harsh. For as good this team is, we don't really get dev ups. 94 overall Seahawks, 86 overall Tennessee Titans. Watson had a chance to dev up and he just didn't. 3 to 0, 3 to 7, 10 to 7. Ooh, this is going to be a Super Bowl for the ages, huh? Okay, we're up by 10. Wow, we are dominating. Well, I mean, we know how to put up a lot of points, but our defense really does not provide much resistance. Like, we just need one stop. Holy crap, how many points do you need? 52, apparently, is the answer. Back to back Super Bowl trips. Back to back Super Bowl wins. This team's sick. This team's sick. Uh, that was something. I will tell you that. Ooh, I like the confetti, though. I don't remember, like, seeing that the first time. Yeah, until he makes one of you, true. Baker Mayfield is. He's getting goddamn sick and tired of us. I'll tell you what, he is getting pissed off. This man has just lost two times in a row, and there's not really much he can do about it. Deshaun finally showed up big time. You know, 400 big yards, three touchdowns. That was a hell of a gunslinger battle. Defense? What defense? I mean, hey. Let's go. One more uh, one more season, I suppose. I mean, we already won two in a row, so there's not really much we can... Oh, look at Aaron Jones' face uh, scan, by the way. It's not a face scan. It's a basic mold. Where's Aaron Jones? Show him. Look at... He's just... He reminds me of Jeepers Creepers. Of course, from the movies Jeepers Creepers, I suppose. But yeah, we've seen this once already. You can basically cut it off from there. Uh, that's what she's... Something... Baker Mayfield had five touchdowns, and he lost. Unfortunate, brethren. Ooh, in fairness, in fairness, we had a lot of rushing touchdowns. We had seven touchdowns in the Super Bowl. That's something. Aaron Jones really showed up this season in the regular and the postseason. Tyreek Hill had a really good game. Lamb was decent. Ruggs was all right. Andrews came up. Andrews is a guy we just don't mention much, though. Chris Jones with one and a half sack, half for Ward, half for Vaughn and Young. Uh, Winfield with an interception and then kicking, you know, just clean game all around. They threw one pick, but outside of that, it was just shootout. We won. Yeah, Watson had a very monster game, without a doubt. But let us go on to the final season. Can we hit the three-peat? If we hit the three-peat, this fantasy draft team becomes the greatest team of all time. Oh, did we forget negotiations? We did. This this we did. So, Mackay Becton, do you just give him seven-year deal? That is a lot of years, but I think you do, right? Like, he's a superstar tackle. He's a monster in size. Patrick Ricard, I don't think we'll have to make too many major signings until two years from now, so I think we're good to re-sign him for now. Exactly. Happy. We'll get rid of him. We just can't afford any of these guys going forward, though. If we can afford some of these backups. Yeah, we can afford, like, these backup linemen that will not be playing in the NFL unless they sign with us. So, uh, as far as free agency goes, we've been over this, you know, many times. There's really not much we can do. I think maybe we'll try to, you know, sign backup safeties and whatnot. Just because I'm a little worried that at some point we'll have to pay Tyron Matthew. We didn't get a single tight end. Pick three. I don't think we're actually going to draft in the top round, right? 
Oh, that Craig guy was good. What is the middle linebacker? Do we go for him? Andrew Higgins? That's going to be expensive, though. That's like six mil per. Willie Gay could be around that price. Hmm. Do we go for Andrew? Let's go for Andrew Higgins. Ugh! Yikes! Yikes! We just got yikes! I am disgusted. Okay, I'll just take... Just take your trade, man. I just can't be bothered. I'm literally just gonna cry. I just... I can't be bothered. Please, Rams. Please, bust. <laughs> That's just the worst pick I've ever seen for pick eight. Ooh, Jesus. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, my. That is hilariously bad. That is garbage. So let's see if we go to, like, 17 or 18. Like, do we just take all the damn linemen at this rate? I don't know. Like, DeCastro needs to be replaced at some point. I'd say this is the draft to try and replace him, right? To replace him? Straight up? Like, who coded this game? If I was EA, I would say what it was is the Cowboys have a rich history, and they would never try to scam such a team. The Cowboys are just too good. They're, they're just too good. We're going to take Kyler Wallace here. Mm, someone did tell me there was going to be normal linemen. Don't get me wrong, that lineman is sick. But someone told me that that was going to be an all, a normal draft, and it kind of is. These linemen are very good, so we're just going to take them all. Gary Peters. Ooh. That's a man's man. That's a big fella. Good overall. He's 79 overall. 17 for 14. In fairness, this one, I can make the argument for one year to the next. Kind of. But you can't make a... like 11 for 18 just doesn't make any sense. Like It just doesn't. Damn it, Broncos. I was really pulling for you. You really helped us out. I really wanted to see them drop somebody good, and they just sucked it. They sucked it dry. Whatever, Ravens. You get a good trade. What a good job, dude. Please bust. Yes. Wow, these teams suck at drafting. Uh, Richards is still there. We're going to take him. Might be the starter for Wills. Hidden development. 76 overall. It looks pretty good. I mean, I will say that normal development tackle was insane. Absolutely ridiculous. One player. Make it happen. Tulliver. I feel like he used to play for the Lions, did he? I don't know. All right, let's take a look at draft board. Roman Mullins was the guy we traded up for. So Roman Mullins, we will draft. Hidden development, 73 over. I was hoping for higher, but could play slot corner. Maybe he replaces Winfield in the future. Maybe he starts a strong safety. I don't know. We're just taking him for the, for the, the memes. 72 overall. Fast as hell. Looks good. Let's go to the Eagles. If the tackle's there, maybe we'll take him at 107. That's a pretty... I mean, mid-fourth is fair enough. Buck Armstrong. That's very low overall for a hit-in. In fairness, this guy's a lot better than a 65 overall. I don't know where they're getting 65 overall from. Super fast. Strong. You know, mid-70s for most of the ratings outside of the, like, diagonal 65 range there. I don't know what his development is, but it was a good pick. We're going to trade down, but we're going to... Well, we're going to trade down, simply put. We're going to trade all our picks for next year. Oh, stretch. Stretch. That felt good. That felt really good. Uh, looking at the final pick, Mr. Irrelevant should be a player that I think can do things. So we're going to go Joey Burrow, and he will be released. Never mind. Mr. Irrelevant is going to be, as they say... Irrelevant. Uh, what's your YouTube? Same as uh, this Twitch, Jerome P. Care. Jerome P. Care basically across the entire social media platform. Let's take a look at these developments. Obviously, this is kind of where the quote-unquote cheating comes into play because obviously we'd be a little more uh, cautious with our picks if we knew they were all-star. But either way, I think I think Wills gets replaced because he, we just can't pay him. He's going to ask for 10 mil per year. Uh, we landed some really good players, though. Do we look at Peter's? We did look at Peters. They're both star. Uh, we also have two other, three other hiddens. We did really well. I think it's time someone else. <laughs> I mean, was that the best draft ever? I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to play that guy a corner, or where do we play him? Gary Kelsey, only star development. Okay, not really worth the pick at all. Uh, Buck Armstrong, if he's superstar, that's going to be really interesting. Okay, Um, I think we're just going to sit him as a backup for now. He looks like a guard type to me. I know, like, he's very tall for how fast he is. We'll put him at guard, though. Yeah, we uh, we landed some really good draft picks. Just to say that, you know, just to say that.
Oh, they have this team. Wait, did they have Tom Brady? I don't know. We just traded away for pick two. All right. So for our final season, this is what the roster looks like. Oh, Deshaun Watts is a very high overall. I did not know we got him to a 98. Very solid looking quarterback. He's only 84 speed. Did I misread something here? Wow, that seems low. That threw me off a little bit. I can't lie. Go, Pat. Go and tr true. True. Uh, looking at the offensive line, uh, obviously there's definitely you know, improvements we can make, but they're young. We have a superstar in the making, literally, with Armstrong. He'll sit back up for now, though, while he juices up with the XP. If a team wins this injury bowl, do they get a broken trophy? Yes, they do. I know because the Packers got it in 2010. Technically 2011. It's 2010 season. I don't know. Chase Dunk finally a 90 overall. Gets 5 awareness. That's a very interesting upgrade. His ability is finesse. I thought he was going to get edge specialist. But yeah, the team looks good to me. Let's uh, let's get on to it. Uh, CD Lamb, that's kind of expensive. It's not crazy bad. Uh, Henry Ruggs, we might let go. Grant Delpit will re-sign. Uh, and this is why we uh, we drafted a linebacker, man. Willie Gay, that is a lot. Do we trade off Henry Ruggs? I love him for the speed and all that, but 10 mil per for a number three? Seems a little expensive. He's back. Okay. Well, Willie Gay's gone. Let's move uh, the middle linebacker we actually drafted. Put him at right out. And we will continue to move on. Right outside linebacker. Yeah, we're not playing the entire Super Bowl. That would make zero sense. Uh, let's re-sign C.D. Lamb, who is asking for slightly more now. Seven-year 106. God damn. Yeah, I think for a team like this to be super successful going forward, you'd probably end up replacing Watson, right? Because that contract literally takes up like... Three to four talented players on your roster. Best YouTuber in this country. In the country? I mean, hey. I try, but... I can't agree. I try, but I can't. He put the whole damn Fly Eagles Fly song in there. Grant Delpit, of course. A seven-year, $32 million deal. Super, super friendly for the team. Uh, punter doesn't matter too much, but Michael Dixon is kind of fresh to death. So, we'll go for him. I don't know what other contracts we'll have to sign in the future, but... 50 mil cap, considering who we have to price sign, it's coming up. A little low, kind of, not going to lie. And playoff, we get another bye week, of course. Only 12-4. and four. Okay. I don't know what kind of EA shenanigans are playing out here, but for the final season, 12-4, and four, not super, not super great. Okay, Deshaun Watson talking about getting rid of him, and he, gets, he becomes an X-Factor. Way to go. 4,200 yards, 42 touchdowns, 6 picks. Uh, he added some rushing numbers to that as well. Aaron Jones... I can't remember if this was better or worse than last year because last year he didn't get to superstar. It's Oh, it's actually quite a bit worse. But knowing this game, he'll get the dev up this time. Tyreek, probably an X-Factor. The rest of the receivers kind of lacking. Maybe shouldn't even have paid the guys we did. Richards, what are you doing? Yikes, Von Miller gets better every year. Chase Young, literally like half a sack better. Numbers really, in general, weren't great for, like, anyone. Most of the numbers were worse than last year, for the most part, other than, like, Deshaun. Look at the yearly awards, Deshaun. No! Get cocked by Russell. However, Deshaun, very likely to be the best NFC player. He was Von Miller, best defensive NFC player. Uh, and this is why we didn't go... Oh, wait, no. We should have went for the Falcons. They went 3-13, and even though I won off as a rookie of the year. What the hell, dude? A lot of awards won or very close to won. Just a really good season again. At uh, at 10 and 6 versus our 9 and 4 Seahawks, the rating difference is a full 11. We're at 95 overall now. The lowest overall amount of 21 is a 23. Is that even true? Watch, we'll lose the first game here. Because, like, surely we don't win three straight, right? Like, that would be very impressive. Uh oh. 24 to 13. 24 to 19. No, 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 no. What's happened? Is it over? We got to come in. We have to save the freaking day. Obviously, we're going mid-blitz. What the hell do you think this is? They do have three receivers, though. We might lose. The Redskins are cheesing. That was a hell of a play call. Chase Young, what are you doing? Almost gave him the first. Did he? Whew. Whew. We will save the damn day. I do not care. Or we'll choke it away, because that's us. Inside look. Ooh, Ruggs got some speed. Why does Ruggs look so tall, though? Andrews is a perfect throw. Andrews down to the one. Oh, I put myself under pressure. Throw it away. Woo. 
Back of the end zone. Touchdown number 88, Mr. C.D. Lamb. You're going to let the AI kick the extra point because if they miss, that's their fault. Extra point made and we win the game. Did we cheat? No, we did not. We played a fair game and came in when we were needed. Uh, Lamar Jackson, two picks, one touchdown. Deshaun, barely over 200 yards. Aaron Jones has been saving the postseason for us quite a bit. Obviously, we didn't throw to him at all, but it is what it is. Defensively, sack totals. Von Miller killed it. Chris Jones was okay. Kenny Clark and Jalen had some sackage. Ooh, Graham Gano. You ruined it. You guys would have won. Disappointing. Go to the championship. 95 overall to the 87 overall Saints. I believe we played them year one. And we smoked them, right? Was it 42 to 17? I don't even know. It was like the start of the run. Do what you please. Oh, right out the gate. They turned the ball over. We turned it into a touchdown. However, right now we're struggling a bit on offense, which is usually not a good sign because we've been really dominant on offense for the most part, especially in the postseason. 24 to 13, almost the start of the fourth quarter. Ooh, we're only up by three here. Down by four, clutch touchdown. They're going to drive down for the field goal. And we look like we're in a good position. We're up by three. The Saints driving down. They don't hit the field goal. And we're back to the Super Bowl again. Joe Burrow, really good game, but just not good enough. Deshaun played a good game. Aaron Jones, worst game so far of ages. Uh, Tyree Kill, nice stuff. Blocking, don't care about that. Sack totals, Chase Young. Oh, I didn't even know he existed because the way he plays is basically non-existent. Both kickers did miss a field goal. And that's pretty much all there is. Could get that three-peat, boys. Titans. Three seasons in a row. The Titans versus Seahawks match up for the biggest stage. Tyree Kill is an X-Factor. Watson's an X-Factor. Everyone's a damn X Factor, except good old Aaron Jones is still stuck at his star development. Way to go. Any other development ups, maybe? Simmons, no. Chris Jones. I feel like somebody did, but they didn't. No, nobody devved up on defense. Man, defense has been struggling to dev up. That's brutal. But here we go. Seattle versus Titans. 95 overall to the 87 overall Titans. It's so weird. Chase Young is bad in Sim for Madden. <laughs> King Gooch is feeling, uh, feeling screwed over. All right, here it is. The three-peat. Let's do it. Going to the end of the game. Decent start for us. We know we hold them out, and then we score a touchdown. However, right now, we're only up by one. Ooh, we drive all the way down, and we don't score. Oh, here we go. Right before half, we get two quick score touchdowns. They get eight points to start the second. Have we done it again? I think we have. Have we? Have we? <gasps> Three beat Super Bowls. This is the best team we have literally ever had. We've never had a team this good. Like, I don't remember the last time we've had a, th a three peat. EA Sim just usually doesn't cooperate, even though we did kind of save ourselves from, uh, who was it, the Redskins? But you guys helped build an insane franchise. We have dominated in here. Yeah, we never had a superstar, uh, a superstar, a three-peat Super Bowl. I think we've had a couple of two. We've been to three in a row, I think, but we didn't win the third one. I can't remember. This is the last year, unfortunately, Shaquille O'Meal. We wanted to do the three, and we did it, and this will be a, uh, a vid for sure. Lamar is sad, and he should be, because Watson's the better player. Yeah, you heard it here. No, that's not true. It's not true, but I said it. We've done a winner. We've done the win. The three-peat is done. Baker Mayfield, once again, just like last time, outperformed Watson, it would appear, but Baker doesn't have the team around him, I guess. Kareem Hunt is a god, but look at these rushing numbers. 8.3 per on 150 yards, 9.3 per on 103 yards, three rushing touchdowns in general. Receiving game was terrible, but running game was just off the charts. Defensively, we had a pick with Matthew they had a pick with Burgess. No kicks missed. Nothing, you know, weird like that. Yeah, Baker lost three in a freaking row, dude. That is an absolute GG. Baker Mayfield might as well retire. Imagine going to three straight Super Bowls and losing all three. Like, even if you win one out of three, it's not bad. But losing three in a row, that is horrible. Of course, it probably doesn't matter. But uh, we'll take a look, show you guys we didn't cheat, which, you know, when we stream this, it'd be very hard for me to do that without changing screens or something like that. But anyways, 
Um, yeah. Oh, Jim Kelly lost four in a row. Yeah, I guess it could be worse, couldn't it? Anyways, that was our fantasy draft rebuild. You know, basically from the stream, a lot of decisions by the stream in the offseason and all that, the trades and whatnot, but mainly that draft was basically all you guys. So, round of applause. You guys uh, You guys basically did... I'm, I'm, I'm clapping slowly. Uh, you basically had a, a three-peat, simply put. But anyways... I don't know if I'm going to stream anytime soon-ish. Maybe Thursday night we do a, another rebuild, perhaps on Thursday night. Definitely some sort of KO stream at some point in the week for sure. But regardless, I appreciate everyone that came around. You guys are legends for watching all the way through. Whether you were here for the draft, you were here for this, or, you know, I suppose... I suppose for you guys watching the YouTube version, you're all right. But everyone that watched it live, that's amazing. Regardless, if you guys enjoyed this... Maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Drumpy Care. Follow the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Drumpy Care. If you have any ideas for us to do on stream like this, or even just something on Madden, let me know in the comment section below or the chat right now, because I'll stick around for a little bit. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video or stream. But until next video or stream, 